And a story we have been following all morning long. Just a little while ago, we learned a woman died in a car crash in suburban Elk Grove Village. Well, people at the scene tell us some of the other victims are teenagers. Our Mugu Odigwe is live with the very latest. Good morning, Mugu. Yeah, good morning to you, Ryan and Dana. Dana, so the intersection here, Beasterfield and Meacham Roads, is now back open more than eight hours after this crash. And we still haven't gotten much information from Elk Grove Village Police about the extent of injuries, even the number of victims involved in this crash. But we did talk to the husband of one of the victims, a 44-year-old woman. He says she is a mother of five and that she was actually on her way back home from work when this crash happened. Take a look at this video. This was from overnight. You can see crews here putting some of the victims into an ambulance. The crash happened just after 1130 last night. Police didn't say much again about how many people were in the cars at the time of the crash, only that they were taken to hospitals with injuries. The extent of those injuries not clear right now. But again, we heard from the husband of one of the victims. He tells us she died here at the scene. We also heard from teenagers who came to the scene after the crash. They say some of the people involved in the crash are their friends. Uh, they were a couple of my friends just praying for their safety. You know, I heard about the scene, just had to come out. Um, looks pretty bad. Luckily, some of them are okay and they've been texting us. Uh, they're currently in the hospital, but just I'm just hoping everyone's okay. Again, we are still waiting on police to confirm what we heard from friends and even family members of the victims in this crash. But as I mentioned earlier, the intersection here at Beaster Field and Leecham Roads is now back open. We're live in Elk Grove Village, the Golden Boy, CBS 2 News.